Hey, girls, welcome back. Okay, something super special on the menu for us to try today. This is something we've never witnessed before. We are popping our big cherries, so to speak. Today, we will be taking a look at a live stream Destiny did earlier with her fiancé, Lexus. The two live streamed for about 90 minutes Monday night, spilling some tea, talking a bit about Dana, as well as talking about their own relationship. We finally get to be up close and personal with Miss. Lexus. Now, I do put this stream on 1.5 speed and click through portions of it. I think if I were to provide commentary on the standard speed of this stream, this would have been well over two hours. And who wants that? Two hours of me? Ugh. Let's cast our fishing rods into this juicy live stream. For today's trip to the wave pool, you will need a Starbucks cake pop, some aluminum-free deodorant, and at least one piercing. Headsets and microphones on, party people, because we are broadcasting our way back into the Amberverse. Okay, let's hop into this. I'm kind of having a difficult time deciding where I want to go. I don't think that there is any more room on the couch for me. So I'll kind of just go over here. I mean, I don't mind standing. Really, I, I'll, I'll stand. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just, I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. Up here, maybe? This is okay. I'm such like a, a small little sliver though. Eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. All right, let's see what they have to say. <laughs> it's gonna have to come closer because I can't read the questions. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't like soup. What are you drinking? <laughs> Tea. <laughs> Destiny, how would you fight for your woman? <laughs> would I fight for my woman? <laughs> what are your zodiac signs? I'm a Cancer and I'm a Gemini. Oh my gosh, look from Australia. <clears throat> oh my god, there's too many questions. Proposal story. <clears throat> I'm just I would love to hang out with you. <laughs> So I'm watching this in the Walmart parking lot. Oh Hell gosh. yeah. <laughs> Walmart. Shout out Walmart. I'm not here to spill tea. I'm here to answer your questions. <laughs> Let's see. She's not here to... Was well, that a fart? I don't know. It was probably if, the couch. What if the question's about tea? <laughs> uh, have we ever been told we look like sisters? Sisters? Ew. <laughs> look, what, look what this darling person said. <laughs> mean. Bad. Darling, you're mean. You're mean and bad. No. What will I post about when I have no more tea? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I think Amber Lynn is watching? She could be. I mean, that's her business, not mine. We're all here for Amber Info, not Destiny Info. I don't care. You don't have to be here. Well, y'all ask your questions. What the heck is Narc Alert? I don't know what that is. What shows are you oh, watching right now? We just finished. That's what I've never understood. I mean, I get it. I get it. Some people are coming in your stream just to complain. But do you not get the premise of YouTube? I mean, the more people you have here, the more engagement you get, the more interactions, the more chat that you have moving and everything. I wouldn't tell anybody to leave. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't like it, you don't have to be here. No, I mean, if, if you want to be nasty to me, I mean, <laughs> come on in. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just never going to be that person that says, well, don't like it. Don't watch. If you don't like it, I want you to stay. <laughs> Finish the Mandalorian. Yes. Um, We want to start Hannibal next. Yeah. Wait, okay. <laughs> Am I just ignorant here? They were talking about The Mandalorian, which is a Star Wars series. I don't know much about it. I've never seen it. <laughs> but how do you go from that to Hannibal? Hannibal's the guy that's like um, in jail and like they go and visit him and he's like this evil genius. Is that the movie where they like have the girl in the basement or no, 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 the, not the girl. They have the person in the hole and like they, 
they like lower down the basket and they're like, put lotion all over yourself. And then they try to harvest the skin off. That's Silence of the Lambs. But is, isn't is Hannibal in Silence of the Lambs? And you know what? I know that that house is near me. It's it's not far from me. It's like within 30 minutes. I saw How Did We Meet. We met on Tinder. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you leave, if we don't spill tea, if you, I mean, you can ask questions. I can answer your questions, but I don't, I'm not going to sit here and go about everything. Spoiler. Oh they do spill tea. Dude. Chicken paws. What the heck? I can't read these. It's going <laughs> so fast. Uh... So everyone's telling them at this point to put on slow mode because you see how fast this chat is moving. I mean, you can't really have an interactive chat with the messages moving this quickly. But Destiny didn't really look into um, how to turn on slow mode. So we just kind of got this the whole time and she could just kind of dealt with it. I'm not telling y'all that. How in the world? I don't know how to slow down the chat, y'all. Did you touch Pookie in <laughs> no months or shower? No months of no shower. I'm not telling y'all that. How in the world? I don't know how to slow down the chat, y'all. Are you going to collab with Becky? Um, Becky doesn't want to do it right now. I have talked a little bit to Becky, but not much. She does her own thing. She doesn't want to do it right now. Do a podcast with Becky. Was Becky emotionally abused? You know, that's their business. I really don't know. Google how to do slow. <laughs> oh, so I think maybe, okay, so we're about two years already, two years out from her and Becky breaking up. And Becky's still kind of like, I don't want anything to do with this. I think that Becky is still affected by the ramifications of what Girl World did to her what Amber Lynn did to her and everything. Not so much girl world. I'm not saying like the community attacked Becky or whatever. It's just the the impact that being a part of this community, being a central figure of this community had on her. So I think maybe down the line, we could see Becky making videos again on her channel, kind of good, kind of Beck and spilling tea or speaking out against her situation i mean really how long has it been since destiny and her have been broken up like six years and here we are just finally now getting it i mean it's been two from becky so maybe maybe that's the thing i don't, I don't know you have to be broken up with amber lynn for at least six years before you can make a tell-all <laughs> i don't know who narc alert is do i like bugs i don't know what you mean by that chicken positive oh are you guys talking about um when that girl from, that worked with us gave us the chicken feet she gave us like chicken feet and rice and it was very random how old are you i am 25 i just turned 25 on the 26th do i watch apathetic facts yes there's not going to be a wedding we are going to the courthouse becky has been through enough let her retire y'all true true Becky just wants to do her own thing. I know she wants to stay out of the spotlight. Which, by the way, I noticed recently on Amber Lynn's Q&A, she's been talking about Becky again recently. There have been questions that have been mentioning Becky, and she's starting to talk about Becky again. I mean, really, what happened to the whole, oh, I'm going to leave Becky alone. I have no business talking about Becky. Be no, no, no. Here she is mentioning Becky again on that Q&A. I mean... You know, I'm I'm behind on the Q and gay. I'm going to be per perpetually be behind on that Q and A just because Amber Lynn does it so frequently. But I'm telling y'all, come two three weeks from now, I'm gonna get to it where she was answering questions about Becky. Flip from Mexico, Mr. Snowflake interview. What's well, my favorite YouTube channel? I don't really have a favorite YouTube. I don't watch YouTube besides like recently. I don't know who Mr. Snowflake is. These nuts. <laughs> Uh, do I have, do you have children? No, no. Except a fur child. That's it. Do you think Amber, well, no. Really. Did Amber ever hit you, throw stuff at you? I told y'all she threw the code red Mountain Dew at me. Not at me, at my car. My favorite vendor on Avatar is Aang. <laughs> <laughs> 
what flavor do you vape? Mine's, it's called Heisenberg. What's yours? Mine is Fume and Ice. Not for a child, you mean for a baby. Yes, that is very accurate. <laughs> Where is your favorite place in the world? Um, I don't, I still don't know who Mr. Snowflake is and that other one, but my favorite place in the world. I don't know, in my bed, honestly. What kind of documentary is Mr. Snowflake doing? I did play The Last of Us on the second part. We are going to vlog after the tea is done. It might not be what you guys want, but you know. Um, I can't. I'm trying to read this one. Um, if Destiny were smart and she wanted to continue to make money off of YouTube like this, because I, I'd imagine that this is the main motivation behind it. I mean, do I think that Destiny, let's take money out of the equation here for a second. Do I think that Destiny, regardless, would still have come on YouTube and shared her tea on this whole situation? Yeah, yeah, I do. But is the motive, is the money a motivation here? Absolutely. So Destiny really could, I mean, if you want to, Destiny, if you want to make this more lucrative and everything, I'm not saying Destiny become a reaction channel, but it would be smart for her to remain on the perimeter of the Amberverse. Make comments, chime in continue to be a presence because really i mean if destiny ends her t series with a clean cut and we we no longer hear of destiny and amber lynn whatever it just goes to her and this um lexus her and lexus making vlogs i mean yeah they'll get views and everything but it, it'll kind of eventually turn into what becky's channel turned into it, it'll be you know 1500 views uh and then when you don't when you're not i mean when you're not getting the engagement you're not getting the i mean you do feel less and less motivated to make youtube videos and everything so eventually i mean i don't even know if becky's uploading anymore honestly but i think that it would be smart financially for destiny to remain in the amber first i'm not saying make it the forefront of her channel i mean she can still be her you you know her what she's interested in doing on youtube and everything but remaining in the amber verse it'd be smart destiny okay um mr snowflake is a brit he has a new part series about amber called shaped by the algorithm i haven't seen any of that what the? I do watch positive PR. Are you a hater girl now? A hater girl? A hater girl. <laughs> okay, Becky said Amber. Okay, we're not going to talk about nasty stuff, y'all. Was there ever any drama with Amber and her roommates when you were hanging around her as a friend? I didn't see any drama between her and Eric and Ricky, if that's what y'all are wanting to know. Did, no, she didn't know who Amber Lynn was before she met me. I didn't know anything about YouTube or her YouTube before I had to tell it. her just about it. I was like, oh yeah, there's there's this going on. What do you think about all of this? It's very crazy and just too much for me. <laughs> Most people who um, I meet for the first time or not meet for the first time, just tell them, you know, what I'm involved in on YouTube and everything. They'd never heard of any of this. I don't think that, I mean, not, not to say like Amber Lynn Reed is a household name. I mean, I know that Girl World isn't, that large of a presence here on YouTube and everything. I think that we are kind of niche, but just I've never I, there are have been, there have been like one or two people, one or two people throughout my time here on YouTube where I've mentioned Amber Lynn and they're like, oh yeah yeah yeah, Amber Lynn Reed, yeah yeah yeah, I know. And then there was one woman that I played World of Warcraft with, and she was like, why do I know who that is? Is is her name Abby Abby Lynn or something? I was like Amber Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> oh look darling darling asking the real questions is her hair or is that hair or a blanket this is a blanket if this is what you're talking about <laughs> do you watch Lori? it's jordy i don't think so um i like that you guys like her hair because i did that <laughs> can i be your sugar mama for this chat <laughs> <laughs> that is up to you my guy you don't have to do anything do you need a mod? I don't know what that is.
<laughs> and I was in here at this point. <laughs> so look what I said. <laughs> Do you watch Lordy Jordy? Uh, no. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Amber Wood first uh, had my name on the radar and everything? It was who? Who? <laughs> she was like an owl for a good month there. Who? Who's that? Who? <laughs> I don't know. Some of you guys are asking questions on here in these like bigger ones, and it's they're being held for review, so I can't. I don't know what you're saying, but quit. Please turn on slow mode. Well, how? Tell me how, and I'll do it. In one clip, you say Amber. See, that just got held. For Quit asking if you can be our sugar mama on this chat. That's what it is. <laughs> What's a moderator do, though? My eyes hurt from the chat going so fast. I think they just go over your chat. And just, like, approve or deny. Oh. We still haven't seen Amber's girlfriend, but... Okay, well, that went away. Um, I don't know who Amber Lynn's girlfriend is. Um. <laughs> okay, how did you discuss your past with ALR or Amber Lynn and all the old videos you were in with Lexus? Did you show her any of them? I literally just told her her name and I said if you wanted to go see what it was about, she could. But I don't think you did, did you? No. <sighs> <laughs> and that's another thing. When I first introduce YouTube and like what I do on here to people, I'll tell them all about it and everything and they'll feign interest. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to check it out and everything. And then I'll follow up with them in, I don't know, a week or two weeks later or the next time I see them. And I'll be like, oh, hey, Jeffrey. They're like, honestly, no, I haven't. <laughs> I think that people just look at what we do and they see the thumbnails and they're like, this doesn't interest me. <laughs> but you know what? You know what's the sad thing, though? I think that if people got their feet wet in Goral World and actually sat down and watched a video and actually gave it a chance, I think that they would find it interesting, would find it entertaining, humorous, whatever. I think that too many people, wh what's that old saying? Like, don't knock it before you try it. I wish more people would give Goral World a chance. Blink twice the chamber is paying you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Somebody said click on the user. I did. And it just says that it's ah. hidden for potential hurtful words, I guess. Oh, they think you're so greedy. Thanks. I think I'm currently sick right now. So what do I smell like? What do I <laughs> now, in a set, so I sent this in. I sent them the uh, – because everybody in the, everyone in the chat was like, um, you need people to moderate this chat because there's a ton of people in here. And, I mean, it can get a little chaotic. So, at this point, I was like, well, give me mod. And if you do, I'll pay your Verizon bill. <laughs> because when you pay Destiny's Verizon bill, what we've learned in history is – you get perks. <laughs> but it's weird because I sent this in and then immediately, like, you'll, you'll hear it in a second. So there's really no point in me telling you. But she says, I, I didn't, I didn't get your question. I didn't, I didn't see your question. I mean, like, here it is. What? Like, what do you mean you didn't see it? Oh, I smell like, like your coach clone. <laughs> Let me see. I did. I, I saw Zach Bryan literally last weekend in New Orleans. That's his, literally, he's on tour right now. So I guess Lordy Jordy is in here. <laughs> I want to say I watched like one video. I, that's why I said I think so. And your question got banned. So try again, Lordy. <laughs> hey, what, what got banned? I mean, is saying mo it got banned. I said mod me. I don't think that anything I said in that, I mean, I didn't use any profanity. All I said was this, like, what do you mean it got banned? I want to say I watched one of his videos. So that means that my videos were not memorable enough for Destiny to remember me or want to watch another one. And to that, I say... Is that funny? Should I do it again? I've already done it twice now. Well, okay, was it funny the first time? And then, you know, it's kind of like it loses its momentum the second time. 
it's like kind of like all right jord enough like that wasn't funny so just stop while you're ahead it was cute it was cute when you did it the first time in the episode from four nights ago or whatever but now you're just really you you keep digging this hole and it's not funny and i don't know why i'm watching your video anymore so if you want my view then you need to step it up a little bit okay all right i hear you jordy whatever I, i'm sorry if i called you by the wrong name Ooh, they said you're an oh yeah they were all calling me jody jody for mod <laughs> Somebody type Jody for mod. <laughs> oh, great girl. Thank you. Someone said, are you ready to be YouTube famous? Not really. <laughs> I'm just trying to live my life. <laughs> Jordy, your stuff got, it got banned again, my guy. I'm sorry. That is not the real Jordy. <laughs> um, oh, oh, let's see. Did you, do you still struggle with panic attacks? I've been having a few a day. I, no, I'm heavily medicated. Um, <laughs> Has Lexus ever been on the blue team? Oh my god. Have you ever been on the blue team? She would not get that reference. No. I don't. I think it's <laughs> Amberlynn said when she was younger, she was on a song. Blue team. Oh, is this like a is this like a bisexual joke or like a gay joke? Because if I I guess if you're a girl that's on the blue team, I, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but like you know how you know how like the genders, it's like blue is boy, pink is girl. So if you're on the blue team, you'd be straight. And if you're on the pink team, you'd be gay. Is that, is that what that means? Soccer team. And uh, she said they didn't have a name, but they were just the blue team. Her name is Lexus. <laughs> and everyone has said it in the chat, so I still know how you don't know it. But she could go by princess. <laughs> On the live stream page of YouTube Studio. Well, I think it's a little too late for that. Did I ever have to wipe Amber Lynn? No. It's a no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not dropping any tea. I'm here to answer your questions. I'm not here to drop your tea. This is your freaking chill. Hello, princess? No. <laughs> <laughs> no comment? I see what it says. Uh, whose hair is more greasy right now? My hair is not greasy. Rude? Is it Alexis or Lexis? It's Lexis. There's no A. Like the car. <laughs> I do have a, a like that really short Q and A I did with you a couple weeks ago. I don't. I don't know. I, I tried to look. I, I googled like. This is what I googled. I googled what is the blue team, and nothing really came up. It was like a computer science term, and then I typed in the blue team lesbian, and then that didn't come up either. So. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what that little joke was in reference to. I don't like being on the outside of jokes that I don't understand. I just like to be included. Just like this couch right here. I, I want to be included, but it's cut off. So I just kind of have to be over here out in the abyss. Yo, on video. But I haven't yes. uploaded it yet. I was trying to do more in it. When Amber got out of the car, would it lift? No, it didn't lift. If you're not dropping tea, what's the point? Well, you don't have to be here. What did that say? Can Lexus give a 360? No. <laughs> Half my head is shaved, so there's not much going on. Yeah, she has an undercut. <laughs> what kind of tea are you drinking? It Can Lexus do a 360? I don't know why I found that so funny. <laughs> Civic, I actually sold it to a neighbor of mine, and he had it for about two years, and it got T-boned. So now it's gone. R.I.P. to a bad bitch. <laughs> did the car lean once eating Gilbert? Great. Y'all are the ones that are ruthless. Show more of your hair. They want to see your hair. It's just, I don't know how to show it more. This is, it's black. And then she, she bleached this part. And then when she went to rinse it, some of the black went into it. So it's kind of great. It's kind of great. But I thought, I told her it looked cool. Does she have like the Skrillex haircut? Whenever I see someone with long black hair like this and they have, she said that a, a portion of her head was shaved, right? So that, that just always reminds me of Skrillex. Is Skrillex even still around? Does he still make music? Would people even get that reference today? I mean, Skrillex just started getting really popular when I was in high school. And that would have been 12 years ago. I don't even know if Skrillex is a thing anymore. Can we see the t-shirt? That's my shirt. <laughs> it's just a Grateful Dead t-shirt. 420 friendly. <laughs> no, I don't talk to Libby. 
Amberlynn did not buy my car for me. My dad did. <laughs> Do that thing fart. <laughs> F you, Chris Griffin. I don't know why y'all call me that. What do you do for work? I am now working at Starbucks. That's all I do right now. Let's see. How come I don't talk to Libby? My dad is not single. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just haven't really talked to her. Am I a mooch? Am I a mooch? No. <laughs> do you ever replace the cake up cares? No, I told my mom she needed to though. <laughs> don't ask if my mom is single. <laughs> you should send Amberlynn cake pops. She'd get so offended. Your cake pops are like three dollars each now. It's it's insane. I mean, I don't go to Starbucks often anymore. I did have a very I had a couple years where I had a really bad Starbucks habit where I was going a few times a week and I was getting that very berry hibiscus. But they discontinued it, so I quit going. But I mean, there was a time where cake what were cake pops? Like a dollar sixty nine? I think I think that a birthday cake pop was a dollar sixty nine. Now you can get a single cake pop for three dollars. A cake pop is like one two bites. You, some people can eat a cake pop in one bite. Three dollars. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What do you mean? What did you mean when you said Amber's butt was stinky? But clearly, what it says. What's your favorite Starbucks drink? A brown sugar shake and espresso with oat milk. Are you wearing the wrong shoes? Neither of us are wearing shoes. She'd get offended, but then eat. <laughs> Sound sugary confirmed. Thank you for spicing up the amber Amberverse girl. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Jordy. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it's weird as hell. That you have your current partner to engage with. Well, she's not engaging in it for the whole point of Amber Lynn. She's engaging with it with me. What was your cringiest pookie experience? Um, I'd say watching her get her ass beat by my mom. <laughs> Do you like Nikocado's parodies of Pookie? I have I don't watch his videos. I remember watching a little bit of him when he was like Okay. All right. So I I think that I left shortly after I sent this in. So like, which is it, Destiny? I mean, because we aren't really. Because the the first time she told us this story, it kind of sounded like it was a scrap, like both parties were involved, and then it was, well, the next time Amber Lynn just took it. So I'm thinking. Whenever you hear about a fight or some type of scrap or whatever, and someone says, oh, they just laid there and took it, I'm thinking, okay, well, that was a lopsided little, you know, one one party is not participating. And then Destiny, I feel, I feel like Destiny said again, well, it, it wasn't really like that. She just did the K-cup holder thing. So I'm like, okay, so it went from them two both being involved to the mom just kind of wailing on her to just the K-cup holder thing. And now she says in this, oh, well, she, you know, went in on Amber Lynn. So I'm confused. I'm confused. What really happened? But Destiny says that she doesn't really remember that clearly because I think that when what whatever happened, what what when whatever happened happened, Destiny kind of like mentally blocked it out and like went in, like held her head and screamed and had a panic attack or something. So maybe she doesn't remember it that clearly. She won't, but no, no. Alexis, do you think mental things are, <laughs> are, are is scary? I'm confused. I am too. Your mom sounds like she was a very cool. My mom was a very cool lady. My mom did throw hands <laughs> multiple times. Not necessarily with Amber Lynn. It was just the one time. Are you just now bringing all this stuff up about your ex? No. Okay, so they threw hands. She the the mom threw hands with Amber Lynn just that one time. Which was it? Because there was one, there was one point where it wasn't a fight at all. It was just the K cup incident. I don't know who Willow Davis is. What does band mean? I don't know. Um, hello from Canada. Wow. Becky doesn't want to do YouTube right now. Someone said they oh. want to wrestle you. But can you describe the smell in detail? What the heck do you mean? <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, are you guys wearing? Uh, you know what this reminds me of, actually. Um, I mean, like obviously the person asking God is a troll. I mean, <laughs> but it reminds me of what they did to um, Pete's foodie booty. And if you don't, if you don't know this, Pete's is well it was Chantal's ex roommate slash lover slash best friend or whatever. And Pete's on live stream, he was getting questions very similar to what the people in the chat are saying in this this live stream chat. And they were like, well, you know, what what like what did it smell like specifically? You know, like very very detailed, meticulous kind of questions. And Pete's actually ended up saying, well, you know what, if I had to say it, it, it it probably was like blue cheese salad dressing. <laughs> so I don't know if they're trying to get a, some type of response out of Destiny along the lines of that, but <laughs> that's what it reminds me of because they were talking to Pete's very similarly to how these people are kind of asking Destiny questions. And <laughs> Pete's actually came up with a really funny thing that people still reference today, the whole blue cheese thing. Oh my God. Another thing that Pete said was, I, I forget what happened, but for some reason, Chantal couldn't, she couldn't uh, take care of herself. Let's just say that. And Pete's had to intervene. And um, he actually had to take a blow dryer. And he said that he had to blow dry a roll. And I'm just thinking, God has left us. God has left Girl World a long time ago. We're talking about blow-dried blue cheese rolls. I, I mean, just like, was God ever here? <laughs> White on your wedding? No. <laughs> Mama cake. <laughs> That's a good one. You're wild for being live. You don't have to answer. But what was the biggest... I, I don't know. I couldn't read it. It went away. It's gone. It's going so fast. Please don't describe the smell in detail. But how was that 20 piece nugget, though? Ask her. She ate it, not me. Oh, my goodness. Um, the thing with my mom asking Amber Lynn to move in with her, I will go into more detail about that when it comes. I don't I don't really watch Zachary Michael too much, but me and him have messaged here and there. Do you like... Mm. Zachary Michael and Dust. I mean, was it recent? Was it a long time ago? Because I know that Amber Lynn has reached out to Zachary Michael in private too, and they have had like small conversations. So, should I have a conversation with Destiny? <laughs> Where do they live again? Florida? I'd go to Florida. Destiny, Lexus. You want me to come to Florida and take you guys to dinner? We can go wherever you want. <laughs> Let me know. I most about Lexus's personality. Hmm. She's cute. That's not really a personality, but <laughs> she's also funny. Thanks. Um, bitch, I don't know how to turn on slow, but I'm going to have to do that next time. I don't know if I can do it right now where it's live. Like, hold on. Hold on. Pepsi versus Coke, who wins Coke? <laughs> Pepsi tastes like dirt to me. Someone said they hope you feel better. Thank you. We met on Tinder. <laughs> I have never like seen um, these kind of piercings until I enter girl world. I, I mean, what Amber Lynn did, they're called snake bites. I've never seen these before until I saw them on Amber Lynn, and now here I am seeing them again. No. Yeah, because no. <laughs> Stinky peepsy. Any kids in y'all's future? Yes. Uh, someone said I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> Blow smoke rings, please. I don't know how. <laughs> you, you, they said you seem confused a lot. I'm very. She's not I, up to date <laughs> on all the YouTube. Like she doesn't watch any of this stuff, y'all. She doesn't say. Well, I mean, imagine joining a live stream for the for someone that doesn't use YouTube. They said. 
someone who doesn't really come on YouTube, imagine coming on YouTube for the first time, being a part of a live stream where hundreds of people, I, I mean, she might even had over a thousand at one point, having this many people in here ask these kind of questions to your significant other, and they were asking, what did it smell like? I mean, <laughs> what a strange scenario to kind of be placed in. <laughs> She's probably like so bewildered. In the loop, I guess. So I want to bring this closer because my neck hurts. <laughs> um, what's your favorite color? Um, green. <laughs> what vape do you use? This is just a. I did have a a Zeus. I think it was a Zeus geek vape, but this is just a geek vape, normal one. Now, show them yours. I just got this for her for her birthday. It's a Caliburn tenant. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody said in my older. No, I'm younger. She just turned 25 and I'll be 28 <laughs> in July. Did the binge monster exist? Yes, I'll tell you that, yes. What made me stand out to you? Because I thought you were really cute. Uh, the smell, please. Is your birthday July 13th? Because yes, my birthday is July 13th. <laughs> Are you in therapy? No. I think I'm about to be, though. Um... Eggs. Yes, I get mad when people call me Dusty. I don't understand. Oh, oh, oh. I, that was another thing I wanted to mention. So, you know how in um, some of my intros when I've been making these Destiny videos recently, I, I've i called her like, um, what was it, like Dust Bunny and Dust Devil and things. She doesn't like that. There, because I, I saw a video not too long ago where she was driving in the car and she was filming herself and she was saying, you know, y'all want to call me dusty and things like that. I, I don't really F with that. I don't really like that. I, I'm thinking, oh, crap, like here I am in my intros calling her like every iteration of the word dust. So I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, maybe she heard that. Do you shop on Sheen? I saw that. No. What's your favorite movie? I like 13 Ghosts. We do eat at Denny's. We ate at Denny's on Friday. Was it Friday or Thursday? Thursday. It was right before we left, yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, what time is it here? It is 10.01 p.m. I think we've already been doing this for almost 30 minutes. <laughs> the next video will be coming out sometime this week. We just, we went out of town for a few days. We literally just got back around like 7 o'clock. And I was like, ooh, we should do this. So this is what we're doing. A beach vlog. We're going to try. I haven't tried Tears of the, the I haven't tried the. Um, made you start telling all this stuff about in Berlin. It's just a healing process, y'all. No, I don't abuse my pets. Mm, it's a healing process. And I think that I actually do think that Destiny wants to tell her side of the story because, I mean, in Berlin really i mean before all of this happened Emberlyn didn't really talk about destiny that much but she did talk about her i'm not going to say that she was radio silent on destiny she would say things here and there about destiny those little jabs and you know every time she took a little jab that got back to amber or i mean that got, sorry every time amber took a little jab that got back to destiny in some iteration i mean someone dm'd her and said like oh look what amber's saying about you so i'd imagine that it got a little annoying over time so I think that it is, if we were to do a pie chart as to why Destiny is back on YouTube, some of it's because she wants to set the story straight, and the other portion is, you know, so. They are very spoiled. God, yeah. Did I ask you what your favorite food was? Sushi. There you go. <laughs> Starbucks or Dunkin'. I personally don't have a preference, but tea food oil. <laughs> Stop it. That's mean. <laughs> Does ALR blaze up 420 style? I doubt it. That's her business. How did you meet your girlfriend? We met on Tinder. <laughs> are you embarrassed to do the day? This day? I don't know what that says. How tall are you? I'm only five foot. Um, I'm probably like five foot one, maybe. Are you in school? No, I would like to go to school in August. I think that was a start date. For what? I'm trying to read these. They're going too fast. It, sometimes <laughs> it slows down and then it goes super fast. Is it true your family are backyard breeders? Oh, you know what, though? Um, if she works at Starbucks, I don't know if they still do this, but um, 
Starbucks employees can work at Starbucks. <laughs> oh my god. Do you do you hear sometimes the way I explain things? Starbucks employees have this thing where they can go to Arizona State online and do online classes and get a degree that way. Cuz I've I've known people that have done that. So it, I wonder if they're still doing that. I'm not you know, I'm going to look that up actually. No. Um, we tried to breed much while while happened, but it never, it never got followed through because he got hurt. Do I have a favorite drag queen? Uh, um, Adore Delano, I think is the name. What? How much did they owe? I don't know how much she ate, y'all. And I can't put on the slow mode. I already tried. <laughs> Why did you film? Did she film you on the toilet? Ask her, man. I don't know. We are enjoying this, I believe. Oh, I am. Are you? Yes. <laughs> I do need to learn how to get the channel. <laughs> Will you Google it for me? <laughs> What's your favorite store? It looks like it's saying on here they apply. I, I don't. I don't ever remember if it was a hundred percent coverage, but it, it always was at least some partial coverage. Where, um, though it, it says here, here that they'll apply a forty-two percent CAP scholarship, and then the the student is responsible for the remaining tuition. So it looks like the program still does exist. The Starbucks College Achievement Plan. Yeah. That's that's a that's a nice little thing if that interests you. I forgot all about that. Um, please make an OnlyFans. <laughs> you want me to make an OnlyFans? You don't want to see this. Trust me, you don't want to see this. I got no idea about Amberlynn's current relationship. I know nothing about it. Before going live, you have the option to edit the slow mo. Oh, yeah, I think you have to do it before. Darn. What is that? Click edit, click customization. Under message delay, tick slow mode. Enter how long you want participants to participate. Can you send me messages? Yeah, I don't know how to do that on here right now. Yeah, we'll just have to do it next time. If they were Lynn's watching this right now, what would I say? What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> Does Pookie blaze up? <laughs> I see somebody saying, what are you going to school for? I would like to go for barbering. What's the leaky leg story? Legs stuck in the bed? I don't know. Like, when me and her were together, she didn't have all of what's going on going on on her. How do you feel about Amberlynn following you and your ex around trying to get your attention after the breakup example of the teddy bear incident? Um, I don't know. I don't know what the teddy bear incident is. Um, it was weird having Amberlynn around a lot when I was trying to do stuff. Okay, now if I remember this correctly, they were leaving a grocery store. And Destiny was pointing at a giant teddy bear. Because the teddy bear had hearts all over it. Or its paws were coming together and it had a little heart in the middle. And Destiny was walking out of this grocery store saying, hey, Dana, hey, Dana, hey, Dana. And she was pointing at this teddy bear. And then Amber Lynn mocked her and said, hey, Becky, hey, Becky, hey, Becky. I think that I'm remembering this correctly. And then um, Destiny said something along the lines of like, you wish I was Becky. Like, you wish you still had me or something like that. Maybe those are two different instances. I don't know. It's kind of a blur for me. But I think that that's what this person is referring to. Following you and your ex around, trying to get your attention. I, 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 I still feel like that was very weird. I think that that's very weird for any kind of relate. Like, I don't know. If you break up with someone or if, if you get broken up with because that person left you for someone else and then you go and try to be friends with them and that other person. That just, no matter any angle you look at that, I just don't think that that should be a thing. So I just don't think that that made Amber Lynn look very good. And I mean, especially like on top of it, like Amber Lynn was like at that point, like 26. I mean, like following around a 21 year old with her 19 year old girlfriend and you're 26, just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I am 26. I'm just like thinking of that scenario in my head and me doing something like that. It just kind of makes me shudder. Be more specific <laughs> on what? 
Do I like burritos? Yeah, I like a beefy five layer. <laughs> Did she wear those leggings? She wore these pants from Walmart. She had like a hundred pairs of them. The teddy bear incident at Walmart. I don't, I don't remember. Somebody just asked my age. I'm 25. <laughs> Did Amber Lynn snore? Yes. Oh, oops. We knew that was going to happen. <laughs> you told the Licky Lay story before you said you made the bed icky. I don't know. I have been to California. No, she didn't really have a hundred pairs. I think she had like seven or eight, though. She had one for every day of the week. She doesn't have an opinion on Amber Lynn. She's already said that. How do you identify what are your pronouns? She, her, and bye. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats on your engagement. Wishing the best for both of you. Thank you. Bless you. Did she snore often? She doesn't have an opinion. Hi, Dylan. Happy birthday. <laughs> I think I caught that. Kind of a little bit of assertion in her voice. She doesn't have an opinion on Amber Lynn. Kind of like speaking for her. And I mean, if people are asking the same question over and over again, are you really going to keep answering like over and over again? I don't know. Just answer it once. And if they miss it, oh, well, because I mean, people keep asking, where'd y'all meet? Where'd y'all meet? And then five minutes will go by. Hey, how did you guys meet? <laughs> she keeps answering it over and over again. Choosing your pronouns is a myth. That's rude. What's your coming out story? Listen, I came out the year that Katy Perry came out with I Kissed a Girl. And I asked for the CD for my birthday, and I played it, and I straight up told my mom, that's me. <laughs> what, do you have a coming out story? No. Uh, I just told my mom that I like both girls and guys, and she just said, okay. An LOL cow or a LOL cow? I don't know what that is. Her zodiac is a Gemini. Mm -hmm. What are our individual goals, goals individually and together? Um, I like my job right now. I don't have any plans to change it, but she's trying to go to school, and she just start, restarted back at Starbucks. Hi, Maggie and Tori. I have talked to Becky a couple of times. Parents usually know when their kid is gay. Like, my mom, when I told my mom, she did tell me she already knew. She doesn't have any kids. Nope. Favorite food place? I don't know. We don't really have like a set food place to go. We like cooking at home. I work at a doctor's office. I'm literally just checking though. I don't do any more like nursing type stuff. Favorite spaghetti sauce? No, the ones down here kind of suck. I think, did I just get a burger? I think I so. think I got a burger. Yeah. Hey lady. <laughs> oh my God. You forgot your spaghetti. <laughs> What's the best Amberlynn tea you can think of? We need juice. Love you. You're a gem. Thank you. Um, For the love of God and all things holy, she did stink. How about that? Um, I don't know what she smelled like. Surely y'all have been in a situation where you have been around a bigger person and could smell their swamp ass. I <laughs> I'm not describing it in detail. I don't know how. You guys are nasty. No Fs are given. None. No Fs are given. I mean, the, the the chat is really relentless about the whole smell thing. I mean, they're they're really pushing her on this. They like what what was that ago? Like that that was already like ten minutes ago. The chat was like all riled up about the smell, and here we are again. They're they're continuing to press her on this. What did that say? Oh my gosh, it goes too fast. Happy birthday to whoever just. I think it was Josh and Allison. <laughs> You forgot your spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that came from when I said that before. Yes, we are still in Florida. I've already said what vape juice I have. It's called Heisenberg. It's very popular. Y'all don't need to know about my private moments I had with people. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. I might have been intimate with her, but y'all don't need to know the details of that. That is not something I will be sharing. I don't know any. But when Destiny was, what, 20 or 21, back when they were dating, 
um, in season three, there were a lot of moments on camera where Destiny said things that I don't think that she would say now, like in intimate details like this, for example. I, I remember distinctly, I think that they were at the vacation house, the beach house, when they went on that um, trip. And they said, um, or Amber Lynn was filming Destiny as usual and saying, hey, like, why, why are you so happy? Why are you, why, why are you smiling? And Destiny walked up and said, because I, I just made you C word. And it's like, oh my gosh, like, I don't think, I don't think Destiny would say something like that now. And that, that just goes to show, I mean, just like, the the thought process the pro the the thought process behind something like a, a twenty year old says versus like someone that's twenty six. I mean, they're not very very far apart in age, but I just feel so different, and I think that a lot of people do. I mean, between twenty six and twenty, I mean, you grow up a lot. I mean, what's what do they say? Like the, the human brain stops developing around twenty five. It's, I mean, really, I think that between 20 and 25, a lot of growth mentally. Anything about Amberlynn's new person that she is with? Oh my gosh. It's going too fast now. I don't have an Alexa device. We want one, but we don't have one. We I did not realize. So I, I had left by now. I had left at this point. Um, the chat is very, very, very um, centered in on one type of question, one specific thing that they want to keep talking about. I'm seeing it in the chat. And I I don't, I think that they're trying to get an adjective out of Destiny, like we talked about like what happened with um, Foodie Booty. I think that they're trying to get some type of word out of Destiny so that it can become a buzzword. We keep going back and forth on it, really. Did you ever tell her she stinks and did that mess with your attraction? I mean, she was showering pretty regularly when we were together, except for that time when I said that she didn't shower. But like I said, I'm not sharing those experiences. Oh my gosh, I got bright. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I saw somebody say vlog date at McGuire's. Hell yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to McGuire's since I graduated from high school. Did she embarrass you off in a public house? So, I mean, it was kind of like, it was kind of embarrassing. Like when you, like I'm embarrassed to even vlog myself, but like when she would just start vlogging without forewarning, you know, it was. A little embarrassing for her to ask something about. There's like people around. No, I don't talk to Eric and Ricky. Somebody said, when do we start dating and when do we get engaged? Vlogging in public is kind of embarrassing because people look at you. And I feel like unless you're, you're, you enjoy being looked at, it's always a little bit uh, cringe. Which, I mean, if I've been making a couple videos on um, Eugenia Cooney recently. And sh no shame. No shame in Eugenia's game. Um, she will make it known to everyone within like a 15 foot radius of her. She will be loud, stick her arm out, put her phone up in front of her face, narrate everything that she's doing and why she's vlogging and everything. I don't think I could do that in public. I, I really, I, I don't know if I could handle everybody looking at me like that, but someone like Eugenia, she doesn't, she does not care, does not care at all. I, it's almost as if she wants to be looked at, almost. It was a private proposal. I saw someone ask that too. We actually proposed at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she did not make me pawn my game system to go out to eat. I had a Super Nintendo and I didn't need it anymore. As Amberlynn asked me not to expose her, I shared the message with y'all. She really thought, um, happy birthday, cousin Nick. <laughs> I can't tell if that said Nick or Nikki. Sorry. Um, can you wish my wife Erica happy early? Happy birthday, Erica. Um, but with the game system thing, I just didn't need it anymore. And I got rid of it. Casey Anthony is a piece of crap. Agreed. Favorite thing from Wawa. Today was my first time going. <laughs> The cake donuts, for sure. Do you have anything about... So, I actually went to a Wawa not too... Like, a month and a half. When I went to New York. when I, that, that time when I went to New York City, like, 
a month or six weeks ago or whatever, I went to a Wawa for the first time ever. I like them. I like them. Um, I like the food options. I think I, I got some like kind of buffalo chicken thing. So yeah, Wawa gives a thumbs up from me. Becky and her. Not really. Did Amberlynn feed you lines for some of the videos? No. Everything that I have said has come from me. What are your hobbies? Reading. I like to read. Why do you get engaged to everyone you date? If you don't remember, I did not get engaged to Amber Lynn. <laughs> I remember the Captain Crunch in a casserole dish? Yeah. Yeah, they just did a promise ring. And Destiny said that she got her the promise ring just so she would shut up. But, I mean... If you, what were her and Dana that were together, like what, almost five years? I mean, engagement after five years. Yeah, I think that that's pretty reasonable. I mean, I know some people that have gotten engaged way, 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 way sooner than that. So, yeah, I mean, I don't, do you think it's fair to throw that in Destiny's face and say, oh, girl, I mean, you're so, you know, what would I think would have been a better thing to say for that person was, girl, you get into relationships really quickly because they all do. They all do. And this is something that we've always said. I mean, Dana, 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 since breaking up with destiny has dated, like, I, I swear, like nine people, no exaggeration. I mean, <laughs> so, I mean, they all move on very quickly. I mean, Amber Lynn's girlfriends always overlap. It went from crystal into destiny, destiny into Becky, Becky into Feline. And Becky and Feline were living together with Amber at one point. And then she said, all right, Becky, you need to get out. The new girl's here. <laughs> and I mean, Destiny's kind of the same way. Um, You know what, though? I don't, I think that Destiny, since having been broken up with Dana, has only dated one person. And th this girl, this girl. And uh, I don't know if she's dated anybody else. But... These two broke up. I don't know why they broke up, but I remember there was a short period of time where they had broken up. But she's telling everyone, we have been together, like, what, a year, year and a half? So they don't really account for the time that they broke up. But I do remember these two breaking up. Yes. A turtle? I resemble a turtle. Do I? No. <laughs> I think that says hi to your cousin Bella. Hi, Bella. It goes so fast I sometimes. I don't have any regrets. Do you think Amber Lynn is a truly a lesbian? No. I did see some of what Becky said about Amber Lynn, like, I guess having attractions to men, and I noticed that she's been with guys before. So, no. We do. Okay, I remember what that was about. This, okay, and then this is when she flipped out on Alex's shook and everyone was like gobsmacked because Alex, for the longest time, was her favorite. Oh gosh, I don't remember the details that clearly, but she was trying to say that Becky put her in a box and she didn't want to be put in a box. She was kind of saying, if I at one point ever wanted to consider being bi or if I were to ever try that I don't she, oh, okay I remember what it was now she said that Becky didn't allow her to express that in their relationship that it was Becky's fault that Amber Lynn if if at all if sorry this is very complex and it doesn't need to be like it, it's stupid but <laughs> Becky made her feel like she could not express that side of her. That's what it was. That's what it was. And then they were talking about that on Alex's Shook's live stream one time. And then Amber Lynn came in that live stream and sent this gigantic wall of text. Like, I don't understand why you're talking about this. This is no one's business. This is nasty. Becky made me feel... I mean, really, it, it was very strange. Because basically what she did is she came in there and sent this gigantic mean message about how Becky made her feel like she couldn't express that side of her. 
it, it didn't make any sense. But I mean, like we've seen Amber Lynn blame Becky for everything under the sun. So, I mean, why not that too? We want kids someday falling on poop and mud. What was that like? I didn't fall in the poop and mud. Amber Lynn did. I've never been with a man. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> My favorite Starbucks drink is a mocha cookie crumble with heavy cream instead of milk, three pumps of hazelnut, double blended. It tastes like a Ferrero Rocher. Does it really use money to control people or situations? Yes, she does. I think she I Ooh, and we remember from yesterday's Q&A, Amberlynn said that she wouldn't be able to manipulate the dumbest person alive. And now here we get a question from someone. Does she use money to control people in situations? Absolutely. Absolutely from what we've seen on here. So, I mean, we just got it confirmed. So, go ahead. Sorry. I think I saw somebody say, what are my favorite, like, reading genres? Nonfiction. <laughs> And it's messed up because Amber Lynn would hold that over people's heads, but would never give any of these side characters a cut. And it's like, that really is money that they're entitled to. I mean, they're bringing in traffic to your channel and making it more interesting and everything. So you're using the money that really is entitled to them over their heads. <laughs> like, how messed up is that? if we forgot um Amberlynn likes to pay for things for you or give you money randomly and then hold it over your head later i didn't i don't know why i stopped talking to Amberlynn. we just kind of had a falling out she's just desperate take anything she can get i don't know what that means i don't know if Amberlynn faked her accent she has multiple accents ow that's my hair she is a control freak. I don't know what happened at Ricky's, Eric and Ricky's that like, night that y'all say we got drunk and something happened. I was And this is what this little segment bothers about her so much because she has no control over the situation. Because for years, Destiny was a dormant volcano. And now that it's erupting, I mean, Amber Lynch trying to scoop the lava up with her hands and her wrong shoes and trying to put it back in the volcano. But the lava's going everywhere. And she can't control this situation because Destiny lives in another state with a new girl, new YouTube channel. She can say whatever she wants. And Amber Lynn can't do anything. It's passed out, man. I don't know what happened. Mm -hmm. I, this is a public apology for using the N-word. I am sorry. It is not my word. Do you notice all of Amber's personalities? She does have multiple personalities. She's cray cray. I did call her money back. Wait, I mean, <laughs> nothing says a genuine apology like an eye roll. <laughs> this is a public apology. Because <laughs> she likes to throw it in your face and then hold it over your head. She never physically hit me. Did Amber ever use racial slurs? No. Don't God, somebody shall give her another fake diagnosis. We have fruit flies, y'all. That's why I keep flinching. <laughs> They're so bad this year. Did Eric actually like Amber? I don't know if he did. That's his opinion. Get drunk. No. I wish. <laughs> we both have to work in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Which, what time is it? It's 10 22. Probably get off here in just a little bit because we got to get ready to go to bed. Somebody said, Am I into crystals? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I doubt she gets the surgery, honestly. Amberlynn washed her hair a couple times a week. I don't really know. I don't know what tea y'all want from me. If y'all ask me the right questions, I'm going to answer them. I'm not going to answer to describe her smell, and I'm not going to answer anything that sexually ever happened between me and her. Plus, those questions keep getting banned. Oh, my God. It smelled like poop. When her hand fell in poop, it smelled like dog shit. <laughs> Do you ever think she'll be skinny? No. Want to be friends? You guys are all my friends. <laughs> oh, they see. Boy, no hesitation with that one. Do you think we'll ever see a skinny arc now? I mean, there, there was, it was E equals MC squared in, be in between the response time of that question and that answer. You're a sweetie. Thanks. 
I do still talk to Becky. Maybe next time we go live, I'll call Becky. I just have to ask her permission, obviously. Me and Becky did talk about our experiences a lot when they were together, even. Me and her would get to doing something. Like, we would be sent out to do stuff together. I don't know. Like, me and her had some alone time, and we would definitely talk about stuff. That's for sure. And you know what? I've noticed they all do this with each other. Because Destiny told us that she, even when she was with Amber Lynn, she was still talking to her ex-girlfriend about Amber Lynn and trying to get advice and things like that. And then now we're hearing that Becky confided in Destiny about different experiences and whatever when Becky was with Amber Lynn. So it's like they all talk to each other's exes and share experiences. It's just like, in a way, they're all dating each other. <laughs> and everybody knows everything. And they're all friends, but not really. <laughs> it said, do you think they're all insane for being obsessed with a 600 pound girl? Y'all just live your own life. We do have tattoos. Yes. I was gonna say I don't know if you can show them yours. Ooh, I have more. I can't turn my arm that way. <laughs> How do you feel about her drunk live stream after y'all's breakup? Um, that was annoying. I don't know what beatus is. Diabetes. <laughs> oh, I don't have diabetes. She doesn't have diabetes. Nope. What does it feel like to be famous because of Amber Lynn? It's It's really weird. I don't know if her new person is using her. I don't know her. Zero Detonita, did you ever see her be abusive to others? No. I called her money bags because I was mad at her. Amber Lynn does not have diabetes that I'm aware of. Amber Lynn never tried to cheat on Becky with me. What was the worst thing that Becky has told you about Amber Lynn? I mean, the same things I've already told y'all. I decided to tell my story as a healing process. How do you feel about Dana being pregnant? Kudos to her, man. I don't know. I'm not going to say any more about it. We already You already answered what you thought about me when we first met. Yeah, but I thought she was cute and sweet and mm -hmm. quiet. <laughs> Favorite munchy snack? Ooh, Gushers. Popcorn. Or uh, <laughs> apple juice and a wild berry Pop-Tart, man. That, that hits. So she didn't answer Big Jeff's question, I noticed. She just decided to go straight to Allie's. So there are, I guess that there are certain things that Destiny doesn't comment on. Becky is going to do her own thing. Last favorite movie y'all saw? What was the last movie we watched? Um, in the theater. That Thor, Love and Thunder. Mm. I can't think of anything recent that we watched. We watched some of Edward Scissorhands last night. Yeah. I did see Amber Lynn's legs. Ooh. I don't regret anything. There's a th Wait, what was the ooh for? Like, ooh as in spooky or ooh as in, yeah, guys, you got me. I did see, like, huh? Wait, how's that supposed to be interpreted? And I mean, of, co of course she did. I mean, she was her girlfriend for like a year and a half. A thousand people in this chat right now. <laughs> How much money did she spend on money? What? We do like horror movies. Yes. I did not ever have to wipe Amber Lynn. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was us breaking up, whatever happened. But Amber Lynn went very downhill after me and her broke up. And I didn't deal with any of what Becky had to deal with. Favorite book? Um, this is going to sound stupid, but the last, like, Ooh, interesting comment to make. I don't know what happened, but after she and I broke up and she, she was with Becky, she went very downhill. And that was because someone asked about wiping. And we knew that that was something that went on in season four. Destiny is telling us it isn't something that went on in season three. There were things like birdbath assistance, but it was never as dire as it got in season four. So she's saying that things went downhill when she got with Becky. For real series, I read was Twilight. 
And I feel like that's the only one I can think of right now. I feel like that's your favorite book, too. She talks a lot about Twilight. <laughs> I don't think everyone's going to get the weight loss surgery. I think she's too much of a leaner. I I have also thought that, too. I mean, not exactly how Destiny put it, but I mean, this this is the same woman, you guys, that we have seen freak out about trying fried calamari. I mean, she gets anxious at little things. And I think that that needs to be worked on very, very significantly before you undertake something like a life-altering surgery, such as weight loss surgery. So, I, I mean... I, I, just, I don't know. Like, if I can't see you do baby steps, how do you expect me to believe when you sit down and tell me that you're going to run a marathon? You know what I mean? So that's just kind of how I'm looking at it. Do I think that she'll get it? I, I, you know, I lean toward no. I lean toward no. But I'm not 100% no. I'm sure Amberlynn is in this chat. Or her boo thing. Were you a vampire or werewolf girl? Vampire girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, just when I was two. When I was in the eighth grade. <laughs> that was like high school for me. Team Jacob or Edward? Edward. Edward, yeah. You know what's the funny thing about that? Um, I, it was it was it was literally yesterday. It was yesterday or the day before. Um, that what is his name? Taylor Lautner is that his name? Jacob, J the Wolf, the Wolf guy, J Jacob Taylor Lautner. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was in Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Um, and then he married someone named Taylor, and then the wife became Taylor Lautner too. So it's Taylor Lautner and Taylor Lautner. Anyway. <laughs> There was this, I, I don't know if he got on Instagram live or where he got on, but he got on some type of live stream, I think it was, or he made a video or something. And all of these people, <laughs> all these people were sending in comments to him, this uh, Taylor Lautner. And they were saying like, oh, like oh, you didn't age well. And like, just like nasty things. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Like. Y'all are mean. <laughs> That's basically what he told him. He was like, this is why I don't pay attention to social media anymore. Y'all are nasty. And then he just left. <laughs> yes, we like Twilight. We just said that. Yes, we want kids. Oh my gosh, now it's going too fast. Somebody said, do I use Goodreads? I used to when I had my Kindle, and now I don't have my Kindle anymore. So I don't. <laughs> Books are... Is good for the brain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Ap apathetic facts is in the chat. What up, homie? Favorite series? Do not watch Avatar: The Last Airbender over and over again, or Friends. Um, what about you? That's something you could watch again and again. Um, I watched Hannibal a couple times. So I Ooh, like someone said, "Can we get a kiss?" <laughs> <laughs> I probably sound stupid. So now she's saying that Hannibal is a series. Is it a different Hannibal? Because when when I hear the word Hannibal, I think of that bald guy, that really creepy, soft-spoken guy who's the serial killer. <laughs> I will slow the chat next time. <laughs> I swear. Once we figure out how to do it. I did like The Legend of Korra, but I still like Avatar The Last Airbender better, and I cannot wait for the new stuff to come out. Where is Zachary Michael? Shame <laughs> on him. And where is Karina Kaboom? <laughs> Amber might sue you for detriment. Go for it, homie. How much does oh, Amber eat off camera? That's up to her. Cora, Cora actually dogs out for me this weekend. She's doing very good. Yes. I do like her family. Yes. I don't really watch. I mean, after the last, Amber is the closest thing to, to anime I watch. What about you? Um, I like Attack on Titan and Tokyo Ghoul. Zach sleeping. You know what? Karina's probably sleeping too. You know who um you know who always threatens this is um Chantal. The whole suing for defamation thing. Oh Chant Chantal threatens this every day of the week. FFG, I'm taking you to court. I'm taking you to court and I'm gonna clean you you out. I'm gonna get all this money back. That, like, like, could you, could you imagine t taking YouTube drama to court? You defamed me. <laughs> I 
<laughs> say the spaghetti line again. <laughs> Do you watch Jessica Messica? No. And then, hey, lady, <laughs> you forgot your spaghetti. <laughs> Oh, someone said they like uh, that they liked your snake bites. I think I saw something about snake bites. Thank you. Did your mom want you to break up? Well, my mom did want me to do that a couple times. We never talked about it. Come here, Carter. Before he gets hateful. Come here. Come here, bud. Oh my goodness! Can you say hi to the people of YouTube? Say <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Have we seen smile? No. I've heard it's good though. I'm glad you finally are sharing your story. It never sat right with me. I'm glad I'm sharing it too. Amberlynn did smell. Oh for my, my goodness, like, yes. Have, I have made taco pie for her. It was good, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Kermit is in the chat. Is Karina Kaboom in here? <laughs> oh my goodness. I saw one. Are you okay with all this talk about my ex? Um, to be honest, I don't really care that she talks about her ex. I mean, have you ever healing? personally talked to Jade? No. Oh my gosh, she like cut her off. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I don't. I mean, even if she, even if Lexus did have an issue with Destiny talking about her ex like this. Um, I don't think that she would admit it on live stream like this, but at the same time, like, I feel like it would, it would really, uh, now this isn't going to apply to everybody, not going to apply to everybody. I'm just saying, I think that it would be more damaging and more worrisome and it would be more likely to bother Lexus if Destiny was talking about Amber Lynn all this much if she were threatened by Amber Lynn if she felt that Amber Lynn was a threat to their relationship I don't think that this girl thinks that Amber Lynn is a threat to Destiny at all <laughs> I, I think that I mean th guys this is this was six years ago I mean, like I, I don't I don't think I don't think that she feels that Amber Lynn is going to drive a wedge between them or be the other woman, so to speak. I, I, I don't think that she feels threatened. And I mean, when people aren't threatened, usually they don't care. Well, come here. Hold on. <laughs> he doesn't growl to be mean. See, you upgrade seriously, Lexus. You're a beauty. Thank you. Bo's flinging hair everywhere. He is. He's scratching. <laughs> What did we have for dinner? Mm, we've been on the road all day. So we, you know, we drove for a few hours and then we stopped for a few hours. Do I think Amberlynn is a bad person? I think she tries to be a good person, but her selfishness and attitude kind of gets in the way. We shopped at what? Goodwill, Marshall's, Marshall's Big Lots, and Bell's Outlet. I don't know what she looks like. I don't watch Foodie Booty. I only know what little bit Karina Kaboom says about her. And that's not even a lot because I only watch them when I'm home. Y'all are asking about Cora. Cora is doing really good. She does her own thing now, you know, like she has her own house, has her own life. Y'all saying y'all love her shirt. That's my shirt. <laughs> Video for this. Drum roll. This is all I know is that it has not been two people she has dated that's been the same person. That's all I know. And I got that from. Whoa, 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 Watch Zach sometimes. Somebody said pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Listen, I don't know a whole lot about the person that Amberlynn is with now, but I will tell y'all one thing. I was going to wait for a video for this. Drum roll. This is all I know is that it has not been two people she has dated that's been the same person. That's all I know. And I got that from a... I mean, we already knew this. We already knew this. But to have an ex-cast member confirm it, that's T. That's T. I... And you know, you know that if Amber Lynn were to ever address this, which she probably wouldn't, you know what she would say as an excuse. Well, 
People were talking about her online and I wanted to protect her. Wouldn't you guys protect the person that you loved? You know that's what she would say. I don't think that she'll ever address it, but you just know that that would be her out. Good source. Somebody said what state do we live in? Florida. Florida. Someone asked if Amber Lynn and my mom got close after we broke up. Not initially right after we broke up, but my mom did go and see her and do stuff with her occasionally. And my mom just tried to be there for her because she didn't have anybody, essentially. Short, shout out to reaction channels. Yeah, shout out to all the reaction <laughs> channels. I don't, I'm not going to name them all. This chat is going crazy. Hi, Brittany. I think somebody said, did I ever meet your mom? No, I did not. I wish I could have. Was Amber really as horrible to Becky as the reaction channel say? I've personally talked to her before and she's the sweetest. I don't know what happened behind closed doors with her, but when her and Becky would be bickering, I would take Becky's side and it would make Amber Lynn mad, but I didn't care because I've been in Becky's position myself. How often do we smoke? I mean, we don't smoke. Would you call it real weed? I mean, I mean like, and, and you know, if you think about it, that's like really the only time Becky got any sort of backup or any sort of validation or, I mean, because Amber Lynn was like a bulldozer to Becky. I, I mean, really just treated her like a welcome mat, I feel like. So, I mean, when they had an outside source around and people were able to see the situation and have an unbiased point of view, or I mean, I guess a biased point of view, because Destiny just said that she had been in Becky's shoes before, the right shoes. I mean, really, I, I just feel like behind closed doors, when it was just Amber Lynn and just Becky, the dynamic was so lopsided. And it, it does. It makes me feel bad for Becky. Just because, like, that's... She's like, God, oh my God. Just bulldozed. I mean, it's like the yeah. legal THC. We can't smoke in our apartment. Yeah. Yes, free Becky. <laughs> I don't know who Cheyenne Jasmine is. Someone has asked that like six times. I, I just saw that. I do play The Sims. What flavor is your vape? We've already said it. It's Heisenberg. And Fume Ice. I'd say Becky is happier without Amber Lynn, honestly. I don't know what after breakup with Snooky something ale. I don't know what that means. I do play Sims with mods. No, we don't smoke cigarettes. Only when I'm drunk. <laughs> I am going to be making more videos with the tea. Free Twinkie. Twinkie, I promise y'all she's fine. I wish Becky would collab, but she is doing her own thing right now. I'm sure she is taking her time to heal. We don't really have any wedding plans. We are kind of... Hoping to get married on Friday the 13th in October this year. That is kind of the goal, but it might change. We haven't really, like, for sure been on everything. Um, what time do I have to work tomorrow? I work at 8. And what time do you work? I work at 9. Wicked Whims mods. Heck yeah. Somebody said Las Vegas drive-thru wedding. Yes. We would do it. <laughs> she keeps talking about going to New Orleans and getting married. Do we work together? No. Do react videos. Um, I've thought about it. What's y'all's cash app? I don't want to tell you my cash <laughs> app. That's actually surprising that she didn't choose to answer that question because destiny recently on, um, Instagram set up a PO box and said, all right, everybody send me stuff, send me stuff. And like I've said, I mean, destiny's reason for being on YouTube now isn't just because she wants to heal and tell her side of things. I mean, you know, there's, there's a, a another major component as to why she's doing the, all of this. So I'm surprised that she didn't give the cash app. I mean, as far as I know, giving out your cash app username, isn't really that, that doesn't give any personal information away about you. Right. It's just like, so people can send you stuff, stuff, money. We don't work in the same industry. She works at Starbucks and I work at a doctor's office. Yep. I think she's never been. I got to go, but, and I was on Bourbon Street and I literally got drunk. Longest dump unbroken. Hmm. Not going to tell you that. It's a trade secret. Give you money. 
I don't know Oh Lordy It's Jordy. I, like I said, I think I've watched like one time and now they've been on here. So kudos to them. Um, if it makes y'all feel any better, I will post my cash app later. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> She she thought about it. She had a good two minutes to think about it. Well, I mean. <laughs> what time is it getting to be now? 10.45. Okay, we're going to stay on for another 15 minutes, and then we're going to get off, because we need to really get ready for bed. Favorite bands? Um, I don't really have a favorite. I listen to a little bit of everybody. I listen to a little bit of everybody, too, but my... Oh, whoa, look, 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 look. Oh, look, look. Hi, girl. Tell us why your girlfriend is a better partner than your exes. Ooh, Karina coming in with the interesting, insightful kind of interrogative here. Favorites to have to be Rod Wave, Jelly Roll, and then Zach Bryan. That's like a whole mixture of people right there. Karina Kaboom! Tell us <laughs> why your girlfriend is a better partner than your exes. She is the best person I've probably ever been with. Um, and that's mostly because I guess I was attracted to a lot of controlling people. Um, not that Dana was controlling, but she has a lot better things going for her than Dana did. I'm not going to get too much into detail. Whoa. She has a lot better things going for her than Dana did. What do you mean by that? Dana doesn't have anything good going for her? Oh. Because, I mean, at first it kind of sounded like she was defending Dana, saying, well, you know what? I mean, Dana's not a controlling person. But then you throw that in there? I mean, that's arguably more of a diss than just calling someone controlling. If you say, if you, if you say to somebody you have nothing going for you, I mean, that's arguably a below-the-belt kind of hit. Wow. Somebody said, when's the next video? It will be coming sometime this week. Amazon wishlist. I've been thinking about an Amazon wishlist. <laughs> Karina said, you seem very nice. Thanks. Thank you. Um, someone said, hug. <laughs> you want me to hug you? <laughs> Tell us something no one knows. I, I literally can't pull stuff out of my head, y'all. And you would just have to ask, why doesn't Amber learn to drive? I really don't see how she could drive physically. I don't. Who's the funnier one between us or what? Like, cause it's definitely <laughs> me. I'll let you believe that. <laughs> and I mean, also it, it, it's never been necessary because if you, if you take away the thought that Feline or whomever is there, I mean, Realistically, Amber Lynn, I mean, Uber, Uber, and everything else gets delivered. So, I mean, I, I if it's something that is nerve wracking for her and it's something that is annoying. And instead of having to deal with it, just push it off or have someone else do it. And that's how it's been forever. Just have somebody else drive. I mean, I don't ever think that there will be a reason or thought process behind Amber Lynn. It's like, okay, well, I'm, I have to do this to get to work. Like, I have to. There will always be some type of way around driving. <laughs> Somebody said, tell us a secret. Yikes on bikes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now it's going super fast. Favorite songs? Um, favorite Wide Wave song would have to be... I have to think about it. Um, I gotta try. A Jelly Roll or Zach Bryan right now. Hmm. I'm going to say I've been very into, like, Suicide Boys right now. So for the last time, this has been uh, what I've been listening to. I don't know anything about Eric. What, what, I mean, like, what, what do you expect from this kind of question? Are you and Amber Lynn working together by making these spill videos in hopes to revive her dying. Like, what do you expect Destiny to say? Yes. Y yeah, we are. <laughs> I mean, it's just, I mean, whatever. But <laughs> Eric or Ricky, are you and Amberlynn working together by making videos? No. Amberlynn did not know I was about to do that. She didn't know until probably I posted a video. I could give a crap less if she approves of these videos or not. I really don't care. I don't know what friends Amberlynn has right now. 
The last time I saw Amber Lynn in person was like around her and Becky's birthday when they were still together. Y'all haven't seen Amber Lynn since she was still with Becky. Wow, someone said hey from Texas. Ooh, somebody said, are we going to watch the Jelly Roll uh, documentary? Yes. I'm so excited for that. I cannot wait. Oh, it does come out tomorrow, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, I'm going to have to watch it. I'll wait for you to go. Wait, what time do you get off tomorrow? 5.30. Oh, okay. So we'll get home at the same time. Yeah. From Australia, I do speak to Becky. I will <laughs> do my darndest to see if she will let me call her next time. Some of the stuff I am going to address in another video, y'all. Someone said something about Lil Peep. I like Lil Peep. I like some of his stuff. Um, did you listen to any little people? Yes. I didn't get into him till after he passed, though, sadly. Cancun. I really I wanted her to answer this. I know. I think they said that a couple of times. The one about Ricky. But she missed it. I always got the vibe that Ricky wasn't fond of her. Can you confirm? And Destiny didn't catch it. I was like, wow. I mean, maybe Becky would do a live with me, but, you know, I kind of doubt it. I'm sorry if you can hear our dog snoring. Because <laughs> Carter's asleep, like, right here. He's literally right here. I don't have a passport. Do you have a passport? Nope. Chicago? Wisconsin? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I will tell Becky that y'all love and miss her, but I don't really know if that'll make a difference. Hi from Colorado. And Oregon. I do plan to stay in Florida. I don't plan on moving anywhere else. Oh. <laughs> no, I never corrected Amberlynn's grammar because it would just start some crap with her. Happy birthday, Logan. I think I just saw that. Okay. Bye -bye. We got like five minutes. What is the You Forgot Your Spaghetti from? It was in a vlog of Amberlynn's <laughs> and Apathetic Facts mm. in their intro and she, she, I mean, either she's going out of the way to not answer these or she's just missing them. Because, I mean, she, she isn't really answering the super chats at this point. I really don't know why I said it. I don't know where it came from, but it is funny. Bo has pulled out all of his toys. <laughs> I told you if we put him down there, he would. Yeah, Look at it. He's got all of them in his bed. Our house is now wreck again. You be nice to Bobo. He gets so jealous. <laughs> I know. I know. Let Bo have a minute. Some people are saying that we didn't read their super chat. I'm sorry. We can't read them. These are going to watch I promise fast. I will fix it next time. <laughs> They're working. Yeah. So. Them for sure. Drop a sip of tea before I leave. I, I don't know. Was the seatbelt of your old car broke? No, it was not broke. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I think that's all I want to cover for this. Um, I think that the biggest takeaway from this live stream is if she were to ever do something like this again, I think that people would have a better chance of getting information out of her if they asked very specific questions rather than coming to Destiny and saying, girl, spill the tea. Tell us a story about one time. Like The less that you have to make Destiny think and recall information, the more likely it is that she'll spill some tea. So, I mean, just think about that. I, I guess maybe reference a time where something happened in season three or season four and say, how did that make you feel? Um, ask very specific questions. Don't just ask a very vague thing where it's like, well, tell us a time when, because it doesn't seem like destiny is answering those kind of questions. She doesn't have this kind of information off the top of her head. I mean, a lot of this was five or six years ago, but if you ask very specific things, it might jog her memory a little bit. So, um, this was okay. I mean, a lot of it was just like, oh, what's your favorite color? Like, you know, what are you vaping? Where'd you guys meet? But um, all in all, I mean, if she'd do it again, I mean, maybe if she were to refine it a little bit, put it on slow mode and 
take a little bit more time with the super chats and things like that. I think that these could be more better. More better. Oh, my gosh. All right, y'all. I think that's it. All right, everyone. We have made a safe and secure landing back on Mother Earth. I would now like to take a moment to thank you for making it to the end of today's journey. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a thumbs up, some of your thoughts in the comments, and take the subscribe button to Starbucks. Get a cake pop, even if they are $3. This is Jordy, blasting off. I will see you next time in the Amberverse.